I'm a real admirer of Updike's Rabbit books. I, I just think they're wonderful. And, um, and I think in some sense it was. Um, it, 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 <clears throat> I love the way that, you know, it, it, through this, this real, very domestic uh, context, he, he really captured some of the larger currents of history over a period of several decades, I guess. Um, when I first set out to write this, um, when, when I set out to write the first novel, it didn't occur to me, though, that I was, that I was going to be undertaking a serial project. And um, the first, uh, first novel, Brightness Falls, was, was supposed to be a one-off. You know, if I'd, if I'd known I was going to keep going, I probably wouldn't have killed off one of the most interesting characters in that novel. Um, uh, although he does sort of reappear to haunt subsequent books. But, um, yeah, um, definitely, um, I think Updike uh, was a big inspiration. Um, Anthony Powell's Dance to the Music of Time, a um, bit of an inspiration. Uh, Richard Ford's books about Frank Bascom. I just... Uh, there's something very satisfying about re revisiting um, characters that, that, that you love and care about.